Greetings, one and all. Welcome to the week 37 Go Tanks account update. Uh, my payout is in less than an hour. And yeah, ships, uh, you know, we've stabilized a little bit. I am working on the Marauder to power it up a little bit more once again. Uh, and I started playing around with different squadron accounts, just throwing all my relic characters in with the one data crone I have. Um, you know, three attackers here. Uh, Rex and R2 go pretty well under CLS, so that's the one lead I picked. And then both versions of Anakin Skywalker for some big damage. Uh, it's a pretty fun team. I'm in Bronzium 2, uh, which is crazy. It's going so well. I'm almost in Bronzium 1, uh, which would put me in Carbonite 4 for next season, if I end the season like this. I kind of hope I don't. I'm not ready for Chromium. I don't know if I said Carbonite, but I'm not ready for Chromium. Uh, I want to stay in bronze game. I will probably lose soon. My next opponent is, you know, 8 million and has JMS Kenobi. Uh, so I got a cut. I got two opponents in a row that didn't have a GL, which was quite a vacation. Um, Conquest is less than a day left, and I am trying to finish out strong, get gold crate. Um, got a couple of things left. I don't think I've beaten this yet. Maybe I'll do that in the video. Um, but, uh, gold crate is not quite locked up yet. Uh, let's start with ships, because that's something I forget, and it's pretty easy to update, or go over. TIE Bomber. Thanks to all the shipments, I am almost at a 7-star TIE Bomber, which is amazing. I've almost leveled up all its abilities, too, so it's a pretty strong ship right now. Only one more ability to level up, and then it's going to be maxed out. Because, uh, I mean, that's my second fleet. I, I use Negotiator. You only ever see me use Negotiator. What I put on defense is Chimera, and it's also going to be uh, more useful in GOTB. I can actually do it in the first, in the Sector 2. I should be able to do those. Fleet Battles, TIE Defender, almost 7-star. I haven't, uh, I don't know, dumped much gear to Aiden, because she needs Chiro Tech now. Slave 1's almost at 7-stars. Uh, going really well. I mean, I am not hurting for, for ship stuff, and even fleet credits, 6.7 million, they're piling up. Uh, but I can now dedicate my prestige to this ship, and I don't know what the best use of it would be. I guess it might be this extra term here. I, I don't know. They're, they're all kind of similar, but I'll be working on that. Oh, Thrawn got to gear 12. I wasn't even trying. I was just like looking around at what I had. And I was like, okay, he takes a, a lot of this gear that I have that none of the Leia characters are needing right now. So I put it on. So he's gear 12. I, I gave him all protection primaries just to make him survivable, durable. I, I don't have tons of speed to go around. He's not a huge priority, but he is more durable now. So that was cool. Marauder. I got Hunter to relics. Put, gave him relic 3. And when I, I took him from like gear 12, five pieces to relic three, and I got one extra speed on Marauder. It was kind of a rip off, uh, but I went from like 164 to 165. Uh, I'm working on Wrecker as well. And then Tech will also be a target. So let me just go over there now. So I probably don't need to I, well, I'm favoring Hunter right now because I'm also... I also sliced up a bunch of his mods. Maybe I went from 163 to 165, but it's hard to get far. Um, so, yeah, I'm working on six dots for him because what the problem I'm running into is when I face Profundity, Marauder isn't going soon enough before the Y-Wing heals up. Um, so, yeah. He's pretty bulky now. Got decent speed. Uh, the only piece I need is this, which requires a hundred of these bad boys. Uh, and I went for the relics, the relics on both of them because that was basically the same cost as getting tech to like one more gear level because he needs two of these right now. So that would be a hundred of each type. I decided to use a hundred of each type for the bad batch characters. Um, and like the characters I'd really want to from Leia that I'd really want to push to relics uh, aren't seven star yet so i'm not in a huge hurry still farming wicket actively and nisa nisa's way further along the wicket it, it's i feel like wicket will be the last thing that i get done before leia just because of the farming i i might have to start refreshing the node um i probably will because it's just going slow 
Uh, a lot of these are Cantina that I can catch up quickly on. Uh, it's funny, once I mean, once I have these three at seven stars, I can probably just unlock C3PO and do that, the Endor Escalation and get some Zetas. That would be nice too. Um, but if I have four, five Ewoks at four stars, I can start getting extra Wicket Shards in that Endor Escalation, so I might gear them up soon. Um, and target Chief Chirpa to get uh, him up to four stars. Uh, so we're working on it. Boosh is six star. Scout six star. Three pin Chewie's five star. Akbar, I can I can actually afford to promote him now. Like I am actually feeling good with the credits, and I even did mod management today. I was almost at twenty million, and I just went through my mods, leveled up, sold off, all that stuff. And you know, most stuff I'm using, I have at level eighty five. If I want to use something, a character, I can bring it up to level 85 in pretty short order. Uh, Scout will probably be the first of my new marquees to get to seven stars, uh, like the Leia marquees, I mean. Um, and she's stuck behind two Kairos, oh, like everybody, it's just so annoying. But I will say the Cairo techs have been flowing much better than they used to. I have six challenge tier one assault battles completed, and that is just magic. Like, whenever they come around, it's just such a nice boost. And also being double negotiator has helped drastically because I can use that get two. So Cairo techs, they are a pain, but they're not feeling quite so bad anymore. Uh, another thing I had done last week already, but I forgot to talk about, was I got seven-star Chewbacca. Um, and I didn't update anything. Someone commented, and I'm thankful they did. Someone commented in on the last uh, Gotenks account update I did before I left on my cruise, saying that they got it done with the same bounty hunters I have, the same gear levels. Just had to keep retrying a bunch of t like for 10 minutes to try to get the right roll. Because sometimes R2 doesn't stealth, and then you can get the contract and annihilate Chewbacca. So I'll do that in a second. I'm um, just trying to make sure it wasn't, it wasn't anything else I wanted to talk about. Uh, Echo, I still, you know, I want to get him to the next gear level because he's so weak. And he's really imbalanced now with, like, Hunter and Relics. But we'll get there. Uh, I did power up Grief Karga a little bit more than I had when I unlocked Chewbacca, which does help. Uh, but he doesn't need Kyber Attack, so that wasn't a big sacrifice. I think that's most of the gear. Oh, I took General Kenobi to R6, helping speed up Negotiator now that's seven stars. And I have not been falling as much in Fleet Arena. I'm gonna do a battle there soon. Um, let's just do the Chewbacca and play it back. Um, I'll play it like once or twice, see what I get, see some like the bad rolls, and then try to I don't know, I, I won't show you like a million attempts, but I'll probably show you the attempt where R2 decided not to stealth and how it's easy from there. It's like, I was not... Dengar, like back when Chewie came out, you really need a Dengar to prevent the stealth. Oh, uh, so let's see. Okay, yeah, he's stealth. So this is the inherent problem with the event. I don't know if I'm gonna make a, if this would, I don't really need to make a guide. It's. It's pretty simple. I mean, it's one wave. Uh, the problem here, I need to hit Rolo for the contract, but I can't. And they're probably going to kill all of us. Okay, yes, yeah, so Mando went down once. And it's some AoEs. But yeah, they started knocking people out. And, oh well. I don't have the cleanse on that, so. Usually, I think one I won, I was able to get uh, Bosk's Taunt out. Also, like you said R2 didn't stealth. Uh, but that's kind of a normal run. Uh, let me. I'm gonna keep restarting. Once I find one where R2 doesn't stealth, then I'll play that out and show how I actually unlocked Chewbacca. All right, took a few minutes, uh, but I got a run where R2. Did not stealth, he used a basic. Uh, however, they did kill Django, so that's completely suboptimal. However, I did get a taunt off with Bosk and then got to do uh, two AoEs in a row. Okay, um, or two mass assists in a row. Boba gets like, 
bonus turn, whatever contract is achieved. Okay, here. So this is what needs to happen. You need to annihilate with Mando. And now, or annihilate Chewie, so they don't have guard anymore or anything. And now it's a three on four. It's not crazy mismatched like it was to begin with. Han is definitely a big threat. Um, I don't know if I want to fight him outright. Well, it's okay. This is great because we call assists. So he's not going to counter. And there we go. I think this is going to be the game. But it's not guaranteed. As long as the boss keeps taunting, then we're good. Okay, that's a lot more healing. But it's not incredibly smooth. Like, it's it's just a nitty-gritty. The, the reason I'd advise trying to reset all the time is because I already have, you know, my, my assault battle's done. This team can't really do the assault battle for bounty hunters, but my... Imperial Troopers can, and you only you only need one win, and it's a pretty easy reset. It's not like you're going through a bunch of waves and then failing. So that's how I unlocked Chewbacca. Um, yeah, I, I'm happy to be there. Happy to have that cross off. Uh, let me re-follow this journey. Oh no, I'm already on it. Okay. I thought I made you reset. Oh no, I already completed it, so I wasn't reselecting a different journey. But anyway, that is Chewbacca. Uh, let me look at the mods just for posterity's sake. Uh, Bosk is by far the best. Lots of protection. Um, some decent speed, but I don't have crazy good speed on everybody. Grief there had some protection. 77 speed. Uh, Django, who died, you didn't even see what he was doing. Not the strongest. 15k health, 70k protection. 210 speed. He has a lot of natural speed because I only have 20, 58 on him. Boba Fett, also 15,000 each. Pretty weak, pretty flimsy. Uh, then where, where's my Mando favorite? Mando, 18,000, 9,000 protection. Really flimsy, not too much speed. So you can do it. It doesn't take a ton. You just need to get the right roll. Uh, so here's what I wanted to demonstrate why I am working on speeding up. Uh, Marauder. So we're going to fight this Profundity. This is Whiskey Jack, and he has a 7-star Profundity, the only 7-star Profundity on the shard. 192 speed. I'm not going to outrun that. Um, but I'll show you what I mean when I want Marauder to be faster in a second. This might be a horrible run. I'm already in one, so I don't really care for payout. Um, but we want our characters all to kind of go in quick succession. And it actually looks like maybe I have it set up well. Because I have Anakin, Negotiator, and then Marauder after. Well, Seven Star, actually, this is pretty terrible. Okay, so that's that's one problem that I, I don't know how to get around. Uh, we need Marauder extremely fast, which means pretty high relics on each. Uh, but they killed Anakin before I get the AoE. I need everyone to get a little faster. Uh, Marauder, this will be pretty big damage, but yeah, it's nowhere near enough without Anakin in there for the assisting. Uh, I've solved one problem. They're going kind of close together. I don't have problems with the five stars. I just have problem with this seven star profundity. But yeah, they're, they're pretty bad. They, it's, it's, it's not pretty. Um, the one other thing. Oh, this is unlocked now. Uh, so that's nice. Uh, R2-D2. Uh, it's like tier 3 of his mythic, so I get some some uh, mods from that. And with all the rebels I have, it's pretty easy. Can't do this yet. I don't know why they even showed me that, but it's whatever. Uh, let me go into Conquest and try to finish this off. Uh, CLS has actually been fantastic for me, this Conquest. Uh, no Empire or Moff Gideon. So let's start with Empire. Yeah, so th this lineup, I have R2 in there as the 5th. So we got two Relic characters. Um, 3 and Chewie and Han have the guard. Once I get 3 and Chewie to, to relics, that will no longer be the case. Uh, but, oh, I need to show my data. I forgot to show my data. But I have the one, the weak spot. Like, you're getting extra offense for when you, I don't know, for how many buffs or debuffs are on all enemies. Mm. 
They're resisting a lot of debuffs, so that's why we're getting a lot of turn meter. I really want to stun Bokatan and Mandalore or something. What can I stun? Okay, there we go. And I want to take a normal bow. Uh, but CLS starts to do insane damage. Watch this. Oh, well, that's 98k. It's not quite there yet, but it does get pretty crazy. Okay, that was his spite hit, which is unfortunate. Yeah, okay, not looking great for me in this. Oh, gosh. Why is this in normal? So I'll just go ahead and do that. I have protection shield. I need a cleanse. Oh, gosh dang it. What the heck? Uh, my gold crate is in jeopardy. So these are the crons I have. I don't have volatile accelerator. I don't have a good one. Um, I have like a one dot. Or the gray one but only does one damage over time so that's not good chain blindside ruthless offense ruthless offense amplify amplify is not doing too much but weak spot is great savior is helpful i need to change things up another weak spot maybe hmm one through vanguard probably not hmm that could be good. Maybe I'll try that instead of Amplify Agony. Oh, these other Pendant Calibration sucks. Get Terminator, not really. Okay, uh, let me try Phoenix. Because Phoenix is always pretty reliable. So like now that CLS started being a good option for me in Conquest. Okay. Okay, maybe not gonna be the way to go. I don't know how I inflicted that when they got tenacity up and not tenacity down to cancel, cancel it. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is rough. That's kind of crazy. Go to Jedi. I don't know. This is a this is an issue. I mean, it's the last node, so maybe I can make it up elsewhere. But I'm not clearing, and that's something I haven't failed to do in a while. That's obnoxious. Who do I even get savior on? No, no, yeah, you're so annoying. Back to CLS, I'm burning through energy. What do I even get from this compared to the other one? Two, three, two, two. Two, three, two, two. One million, okay, 50 of these. 50, five Zetas, four Zetas. I mean, it's definitely worth a refresh. But I didn't expect to have these problems. Okay, so not three Ben Chewy, let's do Captain Rex. I think that'll make it much better. Because we get to stun still. CLS has guard, and that is actually the best thing. Buffs. Uh, OG 
Depot is the one that helps them recover all the protection a lot, so... Let's take her out. Stunt. Okay, I don't know what happened there. I guess it was... Was it Dots? Oh no, stop. Ugh! Come on, CLS. I was just talking you up with your damage ramping and you... Consumables, what consumables do I have? Okay, I got O tenacity and then some speed of help uh L steel, I don't really know. Let me let me go back through old things. Uh I have that side of the coin. Oh I already have the offensive one. Yeah, they're all that slot. There, finally. Frenzy Tech, yes. Let's do that. Uh, yep. Frenzy Tech, why not? Hell Steel. I think it sucks, but. Stop, don't do anything. Yes, push that turn meter back. No. No, I'm the one saying no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Die, die. Come on, come on. Go down. Oh, come on, you're so close. No, no, stop. You are so close. What the heck? What is it? Oh, yes, die. Okay, and now the stupid... Pa Paz is going to have his spite moment where he kills us. Like, even when I kill him, he's going to... What is this? What on earth is this? What is, this is normal conquest. This isn't hard conquest. This is normal conquest. That is so stupid. Okay, I think R2-D2 is probably adding nothing. I'm subbing in Darth Vader just so he can scale his damage like crazy. Uh, that was so, so obnoxious. It's on you. Don't kill him for his turn. Okay, come on. I want no, come on. You stop doing stuff. Don't. Come on, ramp up your damage, Vader. Get all those. Debuffs out there. And push it back. Push push the turn meter back. Oh my gosh. That, that is so stupid. What is this? This is not normal conquest. Stop. Stop. I, I, this is like Padme a few months ago. I'm losing my mind here. I'm going to keep doing this forever and ever. I keep losing my mind. Uh... 
This is so stupid. I don't get it. How is this like for normal conquest? Well, that's our health still coming in there. This is a terrible win, but if I win, okay, you're, you're dead. I, I'm done with you. I'm not going to three-star that. That is just such a stupid node. Wait. Oh, the I forgot the thing said without using any empire. That's the one thing it, I needed to do. I got one star from that. That's it. I can't believe I did all of that and lost sight of the one feet. I got one star from that. One burrito. Okay, but that's enough. I, I have to do the rest later. But you can all laugh at my misery. That's insane. <laughs> I don't know if I can gold crate this time. Ten battle. I need ten battles to get one of these feats. Uh, event feats. That's that's annoying. Man. It's not a disaster like on a main account where I need every win to unlock the character, but that is just oh, that's that's your taste of frustration on this account. I. I hate that. I hate this. What is this? Like, usually they have, I don't know, a powered down version of something. And, like, they even didn't, they didn't put Malak with the Darth Revan. Gosh, I hate, I hate Bogotan. Uh, okay, yeah, I think that's a good place to wrap it up. Plenty of gameplay, plenty of talking about my, my updates. Man, I just, that is annoying. All right, well, thanks everybody uh, for tuning in for the week 37 update and I'll see you next time.